Putting numbers like equations Trench talk When you jump up off the porch as a young kid And start posting on the block with the giant keys And get it bouncing What's good, what's good, what's good ladies and gentlemen man Thank y'all for tuning in your boy Being there Charlie man Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me man Thank all of y'all out there, man. I appreciate all y'all love. Don't forget to donate to uh, Cash Tab, being there. Charlie, man, support the channel, support the movement, you did. All right, listen, we got all natural products right there in my description box, man. Come over there to the website. Everybody that's been shopping with me, man. Thank y'all, man, family and friends. Everybody that's been spending that bread with your boy, man. I appreciate it, you feel me? But we're going to talk about it, man. Antonio Brown, man. Finally came out and spoke his piece on the situation that happened with the Buccaneers and the, at the Jets game. You know what I mean? He, he basically said, it, it, I'm going to try to break it down for people to understand it a little clearly. You know what I mean? To put the context of what he's saying. It's basically the equivalent of you sick, right? You work a job. Everybody got a little job or they do a little something here and there. Just, 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 just listen to me. Follow me. You got a job. And I say you got into a car accident and your job is already short staff or whatever. You know, what I mean, and they you told them you on the phone with them, letting them know I just been in a car accident. I'm in the emergency room and you're in and the person on the other side, the supervisor, you talking to him. You're like, I'm, I just got into a car accident. I won't be able to be in. I got my dom still in the emergency room or whatever. You know, what I'm saying getting better. But I cannot come in right now. And he on the, the person on the phone saying, no, I need you to come in right now. We short staff. I know you're in the hospital, uh, 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 Jackie or, or Tim. We we know you're in the hospital, but we short staff. We need you to come on in. Even though I know, look, I know you got a little bandage on. We need you to still come on in. That's basically how the person he was, uh, uh, Antonio Brown was saying the coach was carrying it. Like, we don't care that you got an injury. We don't care that you hurt. And we don't care. Get your ass in that game and go play. You know what I'm saying? And, and when it come off like that, it come off when, when if it said it's a, that the statue or coming off is the equivalent of that. Somebody you calling a job and letting them know you got in a car accident, you injured and you can't come in. You in the emergency room and they telling you they don't give a damn. You in the emergency room. They want you to come the fuck in. You know what I mean? And that's just completely disrespectful to a person because they have no type of feeling for you. Like, oh. Nigga, you, heart, you, you got a heart accident, you got a little injury. Come on in, bring your ass in. And it's disrespectful. I've been in jobs like that where, nigga, where I was sick and stuff like that. Or you, you got a little cold, don't even worry about it, child. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> we short staff, you got a little cold, you sick. I'm, I'm, and, and I would force myself to go. I remember one time I was really bad. And this one, when the Rona first came around, and I was real sick. And they were like, come on in. We don't give a damn. Come on in. And I came in anyway, and I was working because I thought that's what I supposed to have been doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bring the money in for the family. Sick as a dog. Don't give a damn. Just come on in. You know what I mean? That's how that carry sometimes, bro. When you ain't, like, Tony Brown as a rich athlete with a Super Bowl and stuff like that. He can do other things to get money. But like you say, you think about a person like myself, you know what I mean? I had to, that was my job to get money to provide for the family. You know what I'm saying? The wife, you just and that. You know what I mean? You had to come in. That's what they forced me to come in, even though I was sick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how it is, bro. Like that, that old type of situation. But he on the bigger stage, making millions of dollars, a different aspect. You know what I mean? I pretty for sure is a lot of athletes that play injured. They taking shots and stuff like that, and it just ain't work. You know what I mean? That's what we, Antonio Brown said. He said he got doctor's note to be able to back up what he's saying. So basically, he clearing his name. Even though he may not never play for the Buccaneers again, he, he's putting himself in to be able to play for another place. You know what I mean? Can they trust Antonio Brown? They can trust as long as they're not trying to do what they did to Kawhi Leonard and, 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 um, and San Antonio, try to force him to play on the, on, on the field. I mean, on playing the, on the court. But on Kawhi Leonard, he was sitting out that whole year. Tony Parker get to run in his fucking mouth, and they end up trading Tony Parker to the <laughs> to, <laughs> what was it, the Hornets or some shit like that. They traded Tony Parker the fuck out of there to keep quiet in it. But you know what I'm saying? It, it went all south. He ended up going to Toronto, and winning the uh, championship, beating the Golden State Warriors in the finals. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that happened. Yeah, Antonio Brown. Yeah, I mean, he had a lot of incidents. We we talk about him. That's why people ain't really trying to buy this shit. He's saying it's almost some. It was a little ankle injury and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't trying to buy it. Niggas ain't trying to go for it. Cause Antonio Brown had an issue with uh, Mike Tomlin. Also had an issue with the Ra Raiders organization. Then he went to New England. Had an issue with them. 
You know what I'm saying? So now he's going over here with, with Tom Brady and them. And like I say, if everything uh, 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 Antonio Brown saying is true, it's disrespectful, it's fucked up, it make you angry as a bitch. And like I told y'all before in the last video, I say, if a nigga run across a football field with his shirt off and jumping jacks and all of that, I'm telling you right now, he quit. On, he quit. He, he say, man, fuck all y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? And when a nigga do some shit like that, he either super emotional, you know what I'm saying, or the nigga a neck case. You know what I'm saying? That's all. And like I say, I think he's super. I thought it was super emotional. He got real in his feelings. Like y'all niggas still trying to put me out there. I just said my ankle fucked up, nigga. I, I told you my fucking shit fucked up, nigga. I can't run, nigga. I got all these pieces popping up. I'm hurting like a son, bitch. I can't go out there. And he said that, no, might add everybody, come on, come on, bro, let's go ahead in, you know what I'm saying, you took your shot, come on in, I don't give a damn about your shit being broke, nigga, we losing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and I told you, say no, you know what I mean, I'm not going for that shit, and niggas like, oh, no, you gone then, nigga, get your ass out of here, you know what I'm saying, then, like I say, it, it wouldn't be surprising to me if the coach ain't never want the nigga to be there, the coach ain't give a damn if he was there or not, <laughs> he didn't want to win Super Bowls with him, you know what I'm saying, so, he already didn't give a fuck about Antonio Brown at that case, you know what I'm saying, so, like I said, you could you could spin and cut this slice of power all different types of motherfucking ways. But at the end of the day, if, he, if that man was injured, he told you he was injured. And the coach come on the platform and say he heard and knew he was injured. That's some fucked up shit. It's the equivalent of you working a job. You just got in a car accident and the nigga still talking about come in. <laughs> and you in the emergency room. We short staff. We need you to come in. Even though you was in a fucking whole car accident. We don't give a damn. You know? But like I said, I let y'all niggas be the judge of that shit, man. But it sound really fucked up to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not shot. Colin Kaepernick still ain't the quarterback in the NFL no more. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it. I know what the league is, bro. I ain't got to get into those details. We know. I'm out, though, G. If you would like to support me, I have all natural products that you can use in your day-to-day. -day. Products from household products, beauty products, weight loss products, even products that can help you focus and also relieve stress. And even if you're having problems with sleeping, I have all natural products that can help you with that. I also have products that can help and boost the immune system. You know right now we're going into that cold and flu season, and you may need an immunity pack to boost that system up. And we got all natural products that can help with that. We also got products, cooling products and heating products that can help with pain, from feet pain, because I deal with that all the time being a diabetic. I deal with feet pain. So I have this cooling spray that helps relieve you of pain. And listen, guys, these all natural products is the best thing for you. You need to get away from the chemical things that we are normally using in the household. But now we can switch it up. Now that I got the website, I got it. I'm going to allow y'all to email me and get an exclusive look at the website and y'all could be able to purchase these things at your timely uh, period and enjoy. When you email me, I'm going to give you an exclusive look of all access at, of the website and you're going to be able to pick the products that best fit your lifestyle or what that you need right now from the immunity pack. Maybe some household products that you need. That's all natural beauty products that you may need. That's all natural. I'm going to give you an all-access look when you email me. I want to build a relationship with you so we can be able to talk about the things that you may need in your life, the quality of, of things that you may need within your life. And I want to give you the best quality and the best product that fits you within your lifestyle. And when we have this conversation, if you are diabetic or you have any type of issues, we want to be able to assist you in a natural sense and to be able to give you the things that will be productive within your lifestyle. So when you email me, we're going to have a great and amazing conversation and we're going to break down what it is that you need. And we're going to provide it for you on the website and we're going to put you right in that all assets pass situation so you'll be able to get what benefits you and your lifestyle and what you need right now. But thank you guys. And I appreciate all the support that y'all been giving me each and every time y'all watch the videos. And like I said before, email me and we're going to be able to hook you up with that all access pass. Thank you. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content.